Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial, this time part 3 on sketch commands. Uh, on this lesson we're going to cover inserting a sketch picture and possibly create some splines. So let's start by creating a part. Press OK. And we're going to sketch on the top plane. Right? And uh, we're going to insert a sketch picture. If you don't have this already on your screen, you can just go up to the gear icon, select Customize, and under Commands, you find Sketch. And then you just find your button here and you can pull it up on your screen. Press OK. So let's insert a sketch picture. And let's go to my desktop files and uh, let's find a picture so this is the picture that we're going to use let's click and press open okay you can zoom out to find your picture we're not going to snap this center line to the center at the moment because it's an old poor demonstration so let's check that okay and we want to create this whole part the whole cylinder inlets and the turbine itself so for that we're going to choose a construction center line and roughly we find the front of this tip click on that and click over here okay and just zoom in a little bit and then we're going to create a spline snap right make sure when you revolving a piece that if you're sketching for a revolve piece make sure that you're not starting the half from here but starting right from the middle so snap over here and a snap somewhere here and exit and choose another spline snap over here okay and now we're going to zoom in we're going to select that and I want to show you a good tool here that we have it's called display control polygon you click that zoom it a bit closer pull one of the handles up and when you pull one of the handles up you will see these little dotted lines here if you click that that will give you a very good freedom to play with your spline so you set your spline the way you like it somewhere around here I think yeah that's perfect okay press OK and then we're going to select another spline snap to that point somewhere down here okay and then we're going to close this one down here all right okay so we're just going to create this part here so let's go to futures let's go to revolve ball space and then it will tell you the sketch is currently open and on thin revolution future requires requires a closed sketch would you like sketch to be automatically closed so what that means is this line here down here will be closed and then you place yes okay and it needs the axis of revolution of where will it rotate so we select our construction line and it created our part press ok on that and it automatically hide our sketch picture so now we have this inlet here 
Okay. And uh, that would be all. So thank you.